Question 1. Determine the roots of each of the following quadratic equations using the factorization method. The roots here refer to the value of x which satisfied the equations. So before you are able to do the factorizations, make sure all of the equation is written in general form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. Then you can do the factorizations. So in this exercise, I'm going to show you how you can use the calculator to help you to do the factorization if you are not good at it. Now, if you do the factorizations manually, for example, if you have the answer is, let's say, x plus 2, x minus 3 equal to 0, this means you have two values. When they multiply each other, it will give you the answer of 0. So we have learned that any numbers multiplied by 0 is 0. So it can be either the first bracket is equal to 0 or the second bracket equal to 0. So when they multiply each other, they will give you the answer of 0. So to find the roots, so we're going to write x plus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. To find the roots, the x, so we're going to move this plus 2 to the other side, x equal to minus 2 or minus 3 move to the other side, positive 3. So minus 2, 3 is the root of these equations. Now, if you are using the calculator, the calculator will give you the answer straight away. So to write the working step backwards, now look at here, if your answer is a negative, then here will be a plus. If your answer is a plus, then here will become a minus. Then what you can do, just copy this x plus 2 back to the bracket and then this x minus 3 back to the bracket. Then you solve for the quadratic equations. So using this exercise, we're going to learn how to use the calculator to help you. So first, let us, let us look at the questions. A. x squared minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So already in general forms, so the A, the B, and the C, if there is no numbers in front of the x square of the x, it means number 1, right? So this is the A, B, and C. Then we can do the factorization. So now this is the calculator class with, with model FX570. Uh, to enter the quadratic functions menu, just press this menu and then press this next until this menu A, equation slash functions. So to insert this function, just press the alpha and then this minus. Then we're going to select the second one, polynomial, just press the button 2. And then we're going to select 2 because the highest degree for the Quadratic function is 2. Then there you have it. This is the menu of the quadratic functions. So we just need to insert the value of the a, b, and c. So in this case, a is 1. Press 1, equal. The b is a minus 3, equal. c is a minus 10, equal. Press equal again. Then it's going to give you the answer x. 1 is equal to 5. Right, so x is equal to 5 or the second answer, press equal again, x2 is equal to minus 2. So to write the walking step backwards, so a plus become a minus, x minus 5 equal to 0 or minus become a plus here. Then we are going to copy this x minus 5 and then this x plus 2 back into the bracket. Then you solve for the questions A. Now let us look at questions B. x squared minus 10x plus 16 equal to 0. General form, then we're going to do the factorizations. Now, for your calculator here, you can press this button AC to go back to the uh, function menu again right from the start. So in this case, 
our a is 1, b is minus 10, c is positive 16. So enter it into the calculator, press 1, equal, then minus 10, equal, and then positive 16, just press 16, equal, then press equal again. The first one, a is, the x is equal to 8, or x is equal to 2. Now, writing the calculation step backward, plus become a minus here, x minus add equal to 0, or x minus 2 equal to 0. Copy the x minus add and the x minus 2 back into the bracket, then they have, there you have it, question B. Question C, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equal to 0. A B, C. The calculator, go back to the menu fun uh, the quadratic functions again. Just press this AC. So insert 3 equal B is minus 5 equal C is a 2, positive 2. Press equal again. X is equal to 1. Right? So here, here we're going to have a bracket. Right? The first one is X equal to 1. Or the second one, x is equal to 2 over 3. So now going backwards, x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, if your answer is in the form of fractions, so what happens is that the numerator, the number on the top, is the number that after the sign. So this one is a plus, right? So here is b a minus. This is number, the 2 is the number that after the signs. And the denominator, the number at the bottom, is the coefficients for the x. So it will become 3x minus 2 equal to 0. Then you copy this x minus 1, and then this 3x minus 2 equal to 0. And then you solve it for the question C. Now let us move to questions D. So 2x squared plus at x minus 24 equal to 0. Now, if we are solving these kinds of quadratic functions using the uh, using manually, it means you, you are doing the factorization by yourself. So if you look at the a, b, c, you can divide it using the number 2 so that you can reduce the number to make your factorizations easier. right? So in this case, we can divide all of this with number 2. So you are going to have x squared plus 4x minus 12 equal to 0. All right. So press AC on your calculator again. The x is equal to 1. The b is 4. And the c is a minus 12. So press equal again. The first one, the x is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 6, negative 6, right? Going backwards, x plus 2 equal to 0 or x plus 6 equal to 0. All right, okay, so this one is, sorry, so this one is a minus, right? Plus become a minus. So copy it back, x minus 2 x plus 6 equal to 0. There you have it for the D. If you are inserting the A with number 2, B adds and C is minus 24, it will give you the same answer as well. Now let us look, move to questions E. 2x squared plus 3x minus 9 is equal to 0. Now insert the ABC into the calculator. Press AC, so the A is 2, the B is a 3, and the C is a minus 9. So press equal again, X1 is equal to 3 over 2. Or, X is equal to minus 3. Now, this one is a fraction, so remember, so this numerator, the number 3, is the number after the sign plus become a minus. And then this 
denominator is the coefficients for the x. 2x minus 3 equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0. So 2x minus 3, the first bracket and the second bracket is x plus 3 equal to 0. Then move to questions f. 4x squared minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0. So the that, the factorizations. Now using your calculator, press AC again. Enter the A, 4. The B, negative 3. C, negative 10. Equal, equal again. The first answer, x is equal to 2. Or x is equal to negative 5 over 4. Right, writing it backward, x minus 2 equal to 0. Or, so negative become plus, the 5 is the number after the signs, the 4 is the coefficient for the x equal to 0. So copy it back to the bracket, x minus 2, another one is 4x plus 5 equal to 0. That is the answer for F. Now, we're going to move to the questions G. Minus 3x squared minus x plus 4. 14 equal to 0. Now, if you are doing this manually, whenever your A is a minus, right? So, to make it easier for you to do the factorization, so we're going to change the A to a positive value. So how do you do that? So what happens is that you can minus, divide this, all of the term with a negative ones. So what happens is that this will give you the answer of 3x squared plus x minus 14 equal to 0. Okay? So then you can use the calculator to do the factorizations later. So this part is crucial if we are doing the factorizations manually. All right. So enter the A, 3, the B, 1, and the C is a minus 14. Equal again. So it gives you the answer of x equal to 2 for the first one. Or the second one. x is equal to negative 7 over 3. So doing it backward, x minus 2 equal to 0. So this 7 is the number after the signs of positive. This 3 is the coefficients for the x, 0. So return it back to the bracket, x minus 2. The other one is 3x plus 7 equal to 0. There you have it for the g. Then we're going to move to questions h. So, x squared minus 5x equal to 0. Then we're going to do the brackets. Right? So, press AC on your calculator. The A here is 1. The B here is a minus 5. And if you look at here, we don't have the value of C, right? The number. So, we just press 0 in this case. Equal. And then press equal. The first answer is x equal to 5. Then for the second answer, the x is equal to 0. Now, if you remember, if you're doing it backwards, so you're going to get x minus 5 equal to 0. Then for this one, it's still going to be x equal to 0. Right? So if I return it back to the answer, uh, to the working step here, you're going to get x minus 5. The other one is just x, right? Now, for this part, if you have the answer something like this, right? So, we can actually write this x at the front and then just brackets for the one that have two terms here, x minus 5 equal to 0. Hmm? So, there you have it for the H. Questions I. 
So x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Then we're going to do the factorizations. So in this case, the calculator enter the a, which is equal to 1. The b here is equal to 0. We don't have the b because you don't have the term x there. So just enter 0 equal. The c is a minus 4. Press equal again. Press equal to find the answer. X, the first one, x is equal to a positive 2. And for the second one, press equal again x is equal to minus 2. So return it backwards, x minus 2 equal to 0, or for this one, x plus 2 equal to 0. Now return this one back into the bracket, so x minus 2, the other one is x plus 2. There you have it for the i. Now if you're doing the factorizations manually, so we have learned one uh, relationship before, where you have a square, minus b square so if you do the factorization is a plus b another one is um, a minus b so this number four here we can return it in in square forms which is two square so you have x square minus two square so if you do the factorizations it will be x plus two and another one is x minus two so this one if you're doing this uh, manually all right so if you want after this if you want to exit the menu of your quadratic functions uh, on your calculator just press the menu button and then press number one that is going to go back to the normal calculation mode